Hello. Hi. So, um, short little apology. Um, today is Thursday and I'm doing this devotion um, because yesterday came and went and I completely forgot to do a devotional, like spaced it. Um, and to be completely honest with you, this week has been one of those weird COVID weeks where it is a miracle I've been as productive as I have been. Just gonna be super transparent. Um, it has been a week filled with um, fatigue, I think compassion fatigue. Um, I just feel burnt out and exhausted and um, I know pretty much everyone I've talked to feels the same way. Um, and it's kind of hard to remember what day of the week it is sometimes. And that just happened. That just happened yesterday and today. So I was on the treadmill, if you will believe it or not, um, this afternoon, thinking to myself that despite my own shortcomings, it's been a pretty productive week, despite just feeling not motivated, feeling really tired, just exhausted. Um, and then at the same time running on the treadmill, I was like, Oh, what? Definitely did not do a Wednesday devotion. Now, is that the end of the world? Is it the end of the world? No, it's not. But it brings me to my topic for tonight's devotional, which is the importance of grace, not just giving grace to others and extending grace to others, but giving the same grace that you extend to other people to yourself. It's just an interesting thing that we are so hard on ourselves, right? We're a lot harder on ourselves than we are on other people. And that's just the way it is for the majority of the humans that I know. That is the way it is for me. Um, I am so hard on myself. I came home from the gym and I was like, Russ, I totally spaced doing a devotional yesterday. And he's like, it's okay. It's fine. There's grace. Don't worry about it. So like, why is it so easy for us to say those things to one another, but it's really hard to extend that same grace and mercy to ourselves? It just is. Um, so my scripture for us tonight is Hebrews chapter four. Um, and I love, I love Hebrews and I love Hebrews chapter four verses 14 through 16. Um, because it talks about Jesus, the great high priest, and it talks about why Jesus is so incredible. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens, Jesus, the son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet was without sin. So let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Man, I needed to hear that today. And I'm guessing a lot of you need to hear that today too. L remember, first of all, that Jesus was fully God and fully human. So Jesus had hard days too. And I love that about our savior, that Jesus was probably like, yeah, um, I'm really tired. I'm going to go take a nap or this whole ministry thing is exhausting. Or he had times where he was super impatient with the disciples. Um, he needed to recharge his batteries too. And we are not only asked, but we are encouraged and challenged and, um, called as Christians to approach the throne of God and the throne of grace because we have that wonderful intimate relationship with Jesus. 
um, no longer are we outside um, the temple and only certain people, only the priests got to go and approach the Holy of Holies. No, because of Jesus, we get to approach the throne. Um, and I love, I love that we can receive the mercy and grace in our time of need. So I just want to encourage all of you that if you are disappointed in yourself because you had this whole list of food that you were going to cook for your family this week and you ordered pizza one too many times and your kids are eating a lot of Flaming Hot Cheetos, there is grace. If you were really, really hoping that this was going to be the week where you didn't blow up at anybody at work when it came to the election, you didn't get frustrated at all at anyone on Facebook, and Tuesday came and went, and you lost, you lost your temper a couple times, there is grace. If you are having a really hard time because you feel like you have brain fog, depression, you are having a hard time doing things that are seemingly normal things for you. Um, we are living in a pandemic and that is just trauma that you're experiencing and there is grace. If you are struggling because you are anxious about a doctor's appointment, about an upcoming surgery, about a surgery you've had that you are healing from, about sickness, and you are just wishing that you were better with patience, you were better with trust, you were better in prayer. Oh my gosh, there is so much grace. So what I'm trying to say is when I got home and my wonderful husband was like, Angie, there's grace. It's not a big deal that you missed Wednesday devotion. Um, I really took it and received it. And then I realized how important it is for us to take the time to really intentionally give ourselves grace for our shortcomings, for any of those moments where we didn't meet our own expectations that we had on ourselves, for the times when, yeah, we slipped up and we screwed up. Um, we are human and we do not have, um, as scripture just said, a God who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been through it. Jesus has been through all of it. He gets it. Um, my guess is he probably was never on like a treadmill and he didn't obviously have video devotions to record, but man, he gets how hard it is to be human and to live in a world that just makes you weary sometimes. So know that you are loved. Know that you are forgiven. Know that there is grace. But the hardest thing sometimes is to forgive yourself, to give grace to yourself. So I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their Thursday. Um, I am going to definitely record another devotion um, tomorrow but doesn't have to be perfect. And it just has to be real, authentic, and full of love. See you tomorrow.